reading? Oh, yeah. 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 Okay, yeah, can I can I pee first? Yeah. And you do what? You want to hack it first? No, you oh. pee tomorrow. Can I always do you down to I gotta pee. I gotta pee. No, it's that eight. Go pee. I would come with you normally, but uh, one other thing I did this summer besides those little poems was to start work on another book of translations of Paul Ceylon, uh, of his prose texts, and uh, very aphoristic material. And I thought I'd read some of those. Nothing is blacker than the luminous morning of memory. Among the angels' armies, only every tenth carries weapons though he does not know how to use them. Give your heart to the one who asks for it. Take it back from the one who asks why. Bend when faced with overwhelming might, but as a prisoner, speak a language that cannot be understood. From autumn, Learn how to drive away the birds. 3.7. Teach the fish the language of fishing hooks. He refused himself this too, the joy of joylessness. While he put the poem under the magnifying glass of his mind, I contemplated it from the other end through the telescope of fantasy, and I saw more. To search for one's conscience in the unconscious. One can count the vultures among the birds of prey only when it can be ascertained that they took on the voice of humans. He put no leaf in front of his mouth because he was afraid to uncover his sex. He peeled the apple before plunging the knife into his heart. Stones, too, are flowers, only their scent is stronger. You speak so incomprehensibly, the dead one said to the dying one. You just stammer, you stammer like a newborn. Speak more clearly, speak more deadly. Wait patiently on the shore. The drowned one will save you.